Hey loves, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I actually filmed a like the start of a vlog the other day when I went to Old Navy. Uh, the Old Navy video just went up today. Today is Friday. Um, you're probably, I don't know when you're seeing this. You're probably seeing this like Wednesday or something next week. Um, who knows? Uh, but I just wanted to check in. So I did try to film it and I feel like I was kind of in a sassy mood that day. And I feel like the more time that passes with certain things, the more I'm able to think logically about a lot of them. So I don't know, I thought I'd chat with you for a minute. I might go to Nordstrom Rack to look for some more sneakers because I really don't own very many. I now have this pair that I wear all the time that are pink Pumas and then um, a pair of black Skechers that, I don't know, I don't want to wear them with jeans. Like I want a more neutral pair. So basically, I don't know. I just don't own a lot of sneakers because I was someone who only wanted to wear flats or whatever so long story long we might go to north Mac after this i don't know what all we're gonna do i just felt like sitting and chatting with you today because i kind of felt like scraping that last ramble because i feel like it was all over the place and not that i won't be all over the place because y'all know me y'all know me but i don't know i just wanted to just chat and kind of update you on things because I did drop a lot in the last vlog and then the Q&A. I uh, was definitely feeling a lot of feelings. It was a lot of, I don't know, I think that I was all honestly like still dealing with the health stuff and kind of the grief of like losing my health the last year that could have been, you know, it just kept getting worse and worse and worse because doctors weren't looking at the right things and it ended up being such a seemingly easy fix. And also, I don't know, I mean, I say this all the time, but I swear it just gets worse and worse on the internet. And I've always been someone who has grown slowly on the internet. I've never had like a big blow up. And it, I mean, I do notice obviously as my channel grows and there's been like a minuscule growth, but it went from like no growth to a little bit. So I think some of my videos are making it out to people that normally wouldn't see them. And some people are just fed up with me, <laughs> is what I've gathered, um, which is just so silly in a way because no one's forcing anyone to be here for sure. No one is forcing anyone to be here. Um, and it's just so interesting how people, I don't know. I love that I keep saying I don't know, but I do know, even though my therapist was like, stop saying I don't know. Which, by the way, speaking of that, I hope I don't come off this way. I have I have so many thoughts and so many feelings, but you guys know me. It's going to be all over the place. Um, but before I ramble, I should probably tell you that I'm off coffee. Uh, it was one of the things that came up on my list of possible intolerances. There weren't that many that I was absolutely allergic to. And by the way, I don't remember what all I told you because I feel like I've been such a stress mess since like figuring all of this out and trying to adjust a lot of things and dealing with just life. Life has been so, like I've said, in incredibly busy and all of this is happening while I'm still trying to balance, you know, my social media stuff and like the shop and everything that I'm doing. So it's just, it's been a lot. I feel like I'm starting to get a handle on things, but at the same time, like, you know, those of you that love me and are here, you know, the, the are my family. <laughs> I know you guys know and you understand uh, so many things, but the thing is, is there's going to be people that are going to make their way in that just don't want to see the good in me or there's something about me that they just makes them feel a certain way, and I know that that is something to do with them, but <sighs> going back to the therapy thing, like, I hope I never come off as, like, one of those people, like, I'm literally just trying, I'm trying to, okay, here's where I'm at. If I'm going to stay on this earth <laughs> as someone who has major depressive problems and anxiety and has all these issues, um, I am going to try and make this life you know, the best I can. I am going to try and improve things. I want to feel better. I want to just have less things bother me. So therefore, and I want to work through some stuff because it's like, if you don't heal your wounds, you bleed on other people. I truly, truly, truly believe that. And even though we are not responsible for our trauma, we are responsible at how we handle it and how we work through it because it affects everyone around us and who wants to sit in that who wants to be unhappy so I'm working my best and have been working my best you know in the last like year or so going to therapy and I mean I there was a period where my therapist like moved away so I had to find a new one so really I haven't been back in therapy that long um but there was a meme that kind of popped up and it was kind of 
It says something about how the most selfish person you know has a therapist that's telling them to be selfish. And I mean, maybe it was meant in a good way, but I felt like it was meant in a passive aggressive therapy is bad way. But the thing is, is girl, you should be selfish. <laughs> like you should. Of course, there are situations where like if you have kids and stuff that you need to put them first, like I would put my cats before me any day. I know some of you are gonna be like, girl, that's not a kid. But to me, it's, it's the closest thing to a kid I have. And I mean, my cat, the queen, it, besides being able to leave her at home, <laughs> And the fact that she poops in a box, like, I still, I wipe her booty, like, there's a lot of things, you know, I shave her, I, I know it's not the same as a kid, but, like, you guys get me, and I, I know that, <laughs> but I also know that mentally and, like, anywhere in my life and, like, physically and all of my health issues that, you know, that's just not something that's in the cards for me, so cats will do, um, yeah, I don't know, I need to stop, I think I'm worrying too much about this being all over the place, and really I should just start talking about certain things um uh, but yeah just a lot of feelings and I feel I feel like the supplements are making a difference uh I still feel not a hundred percent but I've been feeling like poop also cutting things out of my diet I'm sure I've helped a lot it's just so wild to me that that ended up being the issue like I never thought in a million years that it would end up being the issue with my stomach <laughs> Um, I mean, I know it's a kind of multiple things. I think the stress played into it and because I gave myself like a little bit of an ulcer from stress, it kind of elevated how much, uh, wheat and other things were bothering my tum tum. Um, if you missed it, I recently found out that I'm not exactly, I don't exactly have celiac, but my body is having the same immune response that celiac people with celiac disease have. So it definitely could go that way. Um, so I have cut out wheat and a lot of you guys, I have so many things to say. <laughs> I never thought, I never thought that talking to you guys about this exact thing was going to stir up some of the weirdest and rudest comments that I think I've ever gotten. And it's just, I don't know. I want y'all to, I know most of you, but I want y'all to keep in mind, like everyone's a human and like on their own journey with their own set of things and I know that I'm here on the internet but that I'm not trying to be above anything if that makes sense I don't know and just speaking of these things like I got some interesting comments about me saying that I'm vegan when I say that I'm vegan it just means to me that I don't eat animal products I don't eat cheese I don't eat dairy I don't eat milk I don't eat eggs I don't eat meat <laughs> like you know that's what it means to me um I do let honey slide sometimes and if you want to hate me for that that's cool um but it doesn't have to be that serious like so some comments were getting upset with me for calling myself a vegan because in other ways of my life I don't live a vegan lifestyle. But if you look at, everyone has a different set of circumstances, everyone, and I literally, that's just the easiest way to me, for me to communicate that I don't consume those things. Um, I mean, you can call it plant-based if you want, but here's my problem with that, is that a lot of products at the store will say plant-based that are not vegan. Um, so it's really a blurry line and I don't know why anyone has to really care um, if that's something that bothers you like again like you could go I think that's kind of where I'm at I'm just like I've been working so hard to heal myself in so many ways and I just want to be the best version of me and you may still not like that version and my best version of me might be my worst version to you does that make sense like what I am working on to make myself better might you might not like it um but you might love it I don't know I'm just vibing <laughs> I feel like that's where I'm at I'm just living my life and so people had a problem with that and then people also had a problem with the gluten-free thing and I just have to say do y'all realize this it is it's not a choice it's not a choice I mean it is but like, it's the only logical choice. And the amount of comments, I muted everyone. So everyone, the whole don't delete comments thing just drives me nuts because you know what? This is my space. This is my channel with lots of lovely, amazing people here that are my family. And people leaving negative comments, whether it's directed at me, directed at anything, anything like negative or just makes me kind of, eh, I'm just going to mute it. I don't delete comments. I mute people which I have every right to do. And the thing is, is 
I don't, I don't even know where that came from. Where we're just expected to take it. Like, you, li you live your life on the internet, so you should, you know, just take it. And the thing is, is, no. <laughs> no. Um, I don't have to. And, I mean, it's always going to be there. And it's always, but... I just wish people realize that it depends on who you're talking to about what you're talking about. Like, for example, the amount of people that were like, don't go gluten-free. You're going to gain weight. First of all, rude. <laughs> that was rude. I'm going to be the first one to tell you, let me sit down with you. And if you say that to somebody who just found out and is, like, very excited that they now know what's wrong with them, even though they're stressed and, like, you know, as someone who was always, like, a gluten enthusiast, I love bread. I've always loved bread since I was a little kid. I've always loved bread. And that's, like, when I went vegan, I was like, thank God bread is vegan. I mean, not all bread is vegan. And especially not all gluten-free. Most gluten-free bread is not vegan. Um, but just to have that response is wild to me. And... Me saying I'm going gluten-free doesn't mean I'm going to sit there all day and, like, eat a loaf of gluten-free bread. It's just the logic that's missing in a lot of things. There was more than one comment that was like, don't eat the gluten-free stuff. And that just blows my mind. By the way, I did film <laughs> a quick clip. I was getting ready, putting my makeup on before leaving the house earlier. And what I had made um, was gluten-free toast. <laughs> that's vegan. Do with that what you will. I am just a human living my life. Like, it doesn't ha I don't know why it always has to be that serious and that black and white. Like, the world is gray. The world is gray. So, anyway, I got a little clip of what, like, I ate for breakfast because, again, I'm all over the place. But I'm on, like, a type of elimination diet in a way. So, she did the blood test, blah, blah, blah. And a lot of things that I'm consuming on an everyday basis and have been consuming came up as possible irritants and part of that could be that so many of my vitamins are low from not just me like eating too many vegan chicken nuggets like everything is taken so literal on the internet that I just like don't even know <laughs> all I can do is laugh at this point because I feel like I'm just communicating this so that I can move past it but really I'm just trying to say that I'm just gonna do me and be here if you want to leave if you want to I'm probably gonna make you angry at some point I'm probably gonna disappoint you uh the whole Starbucks thing, always and forever Shein. Like, there's always people that have a problem with something. Um, whether it's the way I look, it's the things I say, it's how I speak, it's what I eat. It's like, there's always someone out there who's not going to approve of you. And the thing is, is I have my reasons for the things that I do what I do. And they might not be good enough for you, but I guarantee you there are things that you do that your reasons aren't good enough for me. But that's the beautiful thing is like we are individual humans. And I just hope you keep that in mind. Like to a certain extent, don't get me wrong. And it's really hard to give people the benefit of the doubt these days because so many people are just angry. But the thing is, is so many people are just angry because of things that they've gone through in their life that have made them that way most of the time. Some people just come out angry and a little bit of a demon. And like that happens too. <laughs> But I'm just, the things that are demonized and the things that are, like, once I step back from things sometimes, it just, I can see it more clearly. But when I'm in it, I'm such an emotional person. And especially with how crappy I've felt, and especially in that last moment, we're going to, I'm going to be, I'm already 15 minutes in. But in that moment was a very sensitive moment for me. And I came to you guys in, like, kind of a relief and excited and to communicate and to have the amount of people say such negative things about a, like health stuff I shouldn't be surprised but and how many people there was someone that like would not leave me alone and I shouldn't talk about them because that kind of like gives them the attention they're muted uh but like on more than one platform of mine talking about how I was delusional that these supplements were going to fix me uh that I've done this all to myself that I'm basically an idiot and that like all of these things but the matter of fact is yes I did slightly blame myself but the truth is is if you look into it anyone with celiac disease and if my body's having that same immune response my intestines and my stomach has been swollen for god knows how long in that stops you from absorbing nutrients, not to mention the insane amount of antacids and stomach coating things I've been given by doctors that haven't taken the time to actually do a simple blood test and rule out things. They just want to keep shoving medications at you. Those also block nutrients. So while, yes, I should have been a more responsible vegan, plant-based, whatever you want to call me person, I, what's funny is you always hear take B12, take B12. And I, I was really 
stinking at taking my supplements and my B12 was still fine. It was just my iron, which not surprising. My omegas, not surprising because I just let a lot of things go in the last year because I just didn't feel good. And there's so much of your mental health that is also tied to your gut health. And when you just don't feel good, and like I explained this in the last one, like my iron was so low. She said a normal person should be at 50. It was like my farin, I think. So it's like connected to iron and my iron, but like all of those things. A normal person should be around 50. Like a woman should be around 50 to feel decent. And then once it drops below 30, you start to feel crappy. And I was at a seven. So that being said, that again has to do with a lot of things. And you know, I'm human and I'm the one living with it. And this is my body. And I don't know why you need to sit there and tell me I'm so stupid for, <laughs> for the things that have happened. And the thing is, is I've been trying really hard to get the healthcare that I need and to try and fix things and like for example you guys like no joke I literally have it right here I got the night again I have this like varicose vein in my leg and let me say like a lot of the women in my family have varicose veins um it's definitely a hereditary thing but yes I am a large person and yes I did work on my feet for like 15 years on concrete floors so we can you know and I've always been a large person say however you want to um but basically I was denied because my BMI is too high so it limits the treatment possibilities for this it will require words it will require a reduction in their BMI and we have referred them back to you for discussing regarding weight management. We would be happy to schedule them for further evaluation, including an ultrasound, once their VMI is below. And my doctor explained it to me that they're probably thinking of like deeper down veins, not varicose veins. Uh, but I was like, let's just put a pin in it. I'm not, I, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired because I'm, you know, there, I just need to focus on healing my gut and healing my brain and yeah, uh, a lot of you guys did ask about the supplements of what my doctor had me take and like the gene mutation that, I think that's what, it, I don't know, just the gene. I don't know if it's a gene mutation or if it's just gene. I don't know, girl. I don't know. It was so much information that it was a lot. <laughs> but she tested for so many things and one of them, I went over this a little bit last time, but I'm just going to reiterate because some of you guys had questions. I will try and put the gene on the screen, but basically people can have certain markers and you can have one, you can have two, you can have zero and I have two. Um, and basically they just mean that I'm prone to having a mental illness. I am prone to having issues in that sort of sense. And one of the things is like your brain doesn't, I don't know if it, <laughs> I feel so stupid because I don't know, but I'm just giving you the information that I remember. I just am trusting her and taking these supplements um, that are actually helping. I can tell they're starting to help, which is great. And one of them was like folic acid, your brain. I don't know if it's absorbs or produces or both or what the exact thing is, but basically my brain doesn't have enough folic acid. My body doesn't have enough folic acid. So that's like one thing that I'm taking for that. Uh, B6 is something I had missed that um, until the other day when I was like going through the list with you guys, which I scrapped that vlog. Uh, that she had said B6, which is supposed to help with PMDD, magnesium, um, omegas, iron, of course, liquid iron, B12, of course. Um, but yeah, I highly encourage you to talk to your doctor about what supplements you might need. What, if you are someone who struggles with these things, she also said that a lot of it can be tied to, like, because I have PMDD, I have IC, interested, interested, why can I never say it? Basically painful bladder syndrome. Um, obviously I have arthritis. I have depression, <laughs> like anxiety, uh, a lot of things that can actually be all tied together. So she's just, she really emphasizes on like working with supplements in combination with medication. And if you are someone who like really doesn't believe in supplements, that's cool. Like, uh, but why would I not try it? Like, why is that stupid? Um, I should listen to people on the internet that are mean instead of my actual doctor, who is the first one that seems to really know what she's doing. Um, but yeah, so I just have been, if I feel up to it, I'll make some food with you guys later. It just, it's just such a hard thing to share 
that with you guys even though I know so many of you love those videos and miss them and it's something I used to really do and I just I think that I've just reached a point where there's some things that I just don't feel like I want to be commented on especially when it came to something so simple like me just telling you guys about what the doctor said I feel like I had so many things to talk to you guys about that I just wanted to really chat um and just give you guys my thoughts. I don't know if this is any more organized than the other day, but I do feel a little bit more mentally clear. And I don't want this to come off because then I always like, I feel bad setting boundaries in a way. But the thing is, is I have to. And when it comes to certain things that I feel like are no longer serving me, or if I start sharing food and I don't feel good about people commenting on it at this point in my life, then I might pull back. Um, those people are always going to have something to say. There's always someone that's going to be like, oh my God, you eat so much food. Then there's also going to be someone be like, you're lying. You eat more than that. That's always my favorite one. And the thing is, is like, I, I think a lot of my weight issues like have been emotional eating or binge eating. So like on a regular day, I don't, I don't know how to say it because anything is just feeding into stereotypes of how fat people should eat and shouldn't eat. The judgment that comes out of people on the internet just blows my mind every day. And I mean, even the judgment in person, people are just so judgy and... I don't know. I just, all I can do is promise you, like, if I don't speak on something, that's another thing. Another boundary that I do want to talk about is speaking about things that are going on in the world. I've talked about this before. I am someone who very much avoids the news. And even though I am someone who is online, I am not on Twitter. I am, sorry, X, whatever it is now. I, I mean, I am, but I don't. I stopped scrolling over a year ago like I'm barely ever on there like I just can't handle it I don't go on Facebook and that's just how I choose to live my life right now maybe someday I will be able to be a little more active in what's going on in the world but as a highly sensitive person it will shut me down for days it will affect the way that I'm able to be a productive human it will hurt me and like I know that's a very privileged place to say that but also, I have to remember and remind myself that I don't owe anyone anything. And yes, just because I spoke about things in the past um, doesn't mean that I just stopped caring or that I'm, you know, not caring about this war because I, you know, I talked about this one. It's just about where I'm at and I don't know how, I don't know. I just hope that you guys can trust that I'm on the right side of things. And drinking a Starbucks or buying <laughs> fast fashion. I mean, if that's something that bothers you, please just go um, for both of us. Because I, you don't deserve to live your life bothered by my life choices. And I don't deserve to live my life bothered by your life choices and your thoughts and your beliefs. Uh, because we are two completely separate people. And I believe that as long as you are not hurting anybody, you should be able to live your life exactly how you want to. Um, if you want to eat meat and you want to buy slow fashion only, and you want to boycott Starbucks, um, that's your prerogative. I do also urge you, if you are very passionate about something, I hope that you focus on the issue more than random influencers on the internet and whether they're talking about something or not. Because if you're going to put that energy towards something, I hope that you put it more directly towards the issue. And I'm not trying to belittle anything. And I'm not trying to say that people shouldn't bo boycott Starbucks. And honestly, I just read the surface level of it because again, I have just, I'm just trying to heal myself and take care of myself right now and hope to come out of this a stronger person. Um, and I'm already feeling stronger, which is great. And in that, like, too, you have to, and again, back to therapy, like, set boundaries. And, like, that's not just a therapy thing, but also you have to be selfish and you have to take care of yourself. And I'm going to live my life the way I'm living it. You live it how you want to live it. And I just encourage you to treat people with kindness. That is the biggest thing that I focus on. And I have my reasons for things that I do. There are certain things because of my job and, like, who I am and how I live and where I live. And like, there's so many different things that can go into like who a human is. I 
can encourage you to take care of yourself. And there's people that are going to be mad about that. There's people that are going to be upset when you set boundaries. And setting boundaries in any way, even if it's just me speaking and then setting it when I don't have to speak it, but sometimes it's empowering to speak it, <laughs> you know, to be like, this is my channel, this is me, and you can take it and you or you can leave it. And I think I've just always worried for most of my life what people thought about me, but it really doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference because the people that love you are going to find you and are going to be there in your life. And the people that don't, like, they can leave. And I hope the best for everyone. And if you're watching this and you don't like anything I said and I just made you mad somehow, I wish you all the best. And you are so free to go if that's going to make your life better. I want you to be happy. You, are all, you need to take care of you. And I need to take care of me. I feel a little lighter now. Speaking on these things and being able to get them out of my brain in a little bit of a better way. And I'm going to continue not looking at the camera when I don't feel like it. <laughs> because I know that was an issue. The last few years have been weird. If you've been here, girl. And if you're new though, hi. I hope I haven't scared you away. Um... But if I have, then that means we're not meant to be. So, you know, uh, girl, where was I going with that? I don't even know. I miss coffee, you guys. I miss coffee so much. Back to like the first thing I even said. So that's, that's the long moral of the story is there's going to be things that I do um, that you might not like. And if I just hope that if you have a concern, you come with kindness and not aggression because that's where you will lose me and that's where I will just mute you and I won't respond. Even if I have a simple explanation, like I hadn't heard of it, I didn't know what was going on, I'm still going to probably mute you because you're coming at me in an aggressive way. If you come at me with love, I might still give you an answer you don't like, but I'll give you an answer instead of avoiding it because if you come out with me aggression, I'm not going to respond even if it's something simple. Um, but long story long, I kind of have to pee. Back to the beginning. If I include some more food stuff, which I probably will just because I am going to try a few new things. I've really been trying to look for protein sources. Now to get, let's just get back to like less stressy things and me just talking about things and like not defending myself in some sort of way. I don't know. I just needed to set some boundaries. And set some vibes. Because I just want to have a good time. But I also love this so much. I love being with you. And I know I complain a lot. And I know I'm an emotional turd. But also you guys are what keep me going. Because you give me a purpose to like be here. And <laughs> you help me grow. And I hope that I can help you grow in positive ways. But anyway. Long story long. Um, food wise. So I am, sp I am completely obviously not eating wheat. And then I am minimizing soy. I think I was, I was kind of pretending that corn wasn't an issue, but she said a lot of people that have corn, um, like, or that have a wheat allergy also have a corn allergy. And I ate a tamale yesterday and it was so good. But I think that, I think that my body doesn't love corn. I think that I'll still be able to have it every once in a while, but basically I'm just giving up these things or really minimizing them for three months. And then I will add one thing here, one thing there and see how it feels. Except for wheat. I think I'm just done. I think I have to be, unless I'm out of the country because girl, I think I already told you guys, my doctor said that she can't eat wheat in America, but she can eat it outside of the country because America has looser regulations and it's a lot to do with pesticides, which how horrible is that? Like learning that, that that is the biggest reason. And that's why it's not the actual wheat. It's how it's processed. But anyway, so <laughs> coffee, corn, chocolate, I'm minimizing. Soy, I'm minimizing because soy is in so many things, um, which sucks because I love tofu. And so I'm really struggling to find like, not struggling, but the thing is, is when you don't eat meat, you don't eat dairy. Those are big protein sources. Of course, there's like spinach and beans, but who wants to eat beans every day? So I've been doing my best to find like random pea protein faux meats to just kind of work. I've been on the hunt. I've been eating a lot of just egg because that's a protein source. Um, I did try some Beyond sausage patties and they were okay. And another thing that's like the issue with me with this is I ate, I've never been a red meat person at all. Never been like a sausage person. I mean, I probably liked bacon when I was little, but the thing is, is all, almost all, <laughs> uh, vegan faux chicken is made from wheat gluten, and if it's not, it's made from soy, and a lot of what is P 
key protein based out there. I did find one chicken though that I'll show you guys later um, at Natural Grocers, but Target also has it. Uh, that I might try tonight <sighs> with you guys. I'll at least show you. I might not. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. That's what I'm just going to do. I'm going to do things how I feel. Um, but yeah, so that's just been the kind of struggle because at first I kind of panicked and was just like mostly eating rice. But like no one wants to eat rice and beans every day. So I'm just trying to spice it up. But I would have loved to eventually be more just solid plant-based. But in this time, and especially while I'm trying to find other foods, I'm going to be eating that gluten-free bread, them gluten-free waffles. And I'm finding that my stomach is definitely healing, my esophagus is healing, my sinuses and my knee have been improving. Those are both things that I've struggled with probably the whole, like, it's been like a, almost a year, probably, oh goodness, yeah, it's been almost a year since I hurt my knee, um, because the stomach problems happened right around then, because I originally thought my stomach problem was I, I had fallen on a heater when I fell on my knee, so I thought it was, like, connected, but surprise, it was gluten. By the way, I need to wash my hair. I think that I am going to go pee. And I think we should just go to Nordstrom Rack and see if there's any cute shoes. See if there's anything cute. I don't know. It just sounded like the vibe today. Maybe we'll go to TJ Maxx. I'm just throwing things out there. I kind of want to go to Sephora. There's a Sephora like right there in the mall. Which could be fun. Go back to Ulta. I don't know. I might even just go to Nordstrom Rack and be like, I want to go home. Um, but I do need to go to Walmart. So we at least do Nordstrom Rack and Walmart. Um... Thanks for listening. Oh my gosh, if you made it through that whole thing, will you leave like a little heart hand emoji or a little heart emoji and tell me that you listened? Um, and if you made it through and you still love me, <laughs> that means you're, well, you know, the MVP and the true one. And I know there's so many of you. And your comments on the q and I didn't get a chance to respond to everybody. I tried to respond to a bunch of people. But again, like, my time is so limited now. And as someone who's, even though I live my life on the internet, I don't, I try not to spend too much time on the internet. I'm on Instagram still way too much. Especially because Instagram just gives me feelings. Um, I don't know. I just love you guys so much. And one of you guys sent me the uh, Amanda Panda, which wears me out. No offense, not offense to you. Um, my ex-best friend. That was her nickname when we were little. But I also have noticed your name. Um, I just wrote you back really quick because I just, I felt like I couldn't find the words because it was just the sweetest, most heartfelt letter that I think I've almost ever, probably ever received in my life. Um, oh, I don't want to cry. It just meant so much. It meant so much because I felt like she really sees me. And I know there's so many of you that like really sees me. You see me and you know that my intentions are good and I am just a highly sensitive person trying to do her best and as someone who's been you know chronically exhausted for a very long time and especially the last year I have not felt good you guys I have, it makes so much sense now but especially with struggling trying to get care and trying to get care and trying to get care and being told over and over again that basically I'm too fat my BMI is too high to have my stomach scoped which I didn't even need to begin with so I went through all of that for no reason when it really was just a doctor who just didn't want to do tests let's keep it all in one wheelhouse is what he just kept saying but you could have literally changed my life and that was the second doctor I went to. The first one, she had gone on maternity leave and whoever replaced her actually ended up getting fired, I found out, which is cool because she was terrible. I'm, yeah, okay. Girl, okay, I love you. I'm off topic again, back in circles. I'm wearing a different sweatshirt, but it's still a Nirvana one. It's a new one from Fashion Nova. If you guys missed that haul, it was such a good haul. Um, I'll try and include more food in this just like because I will be eating some different things than I was eating before. Um, maybe I'll have some falafel or that chopped chicky that I found. Um, but yeah, we'll just figure out through the day. We're just vibing. I did eat part of this protein bar. Just so you guys know because I needed to take my medication and um, I had eaten while that avocado toast definitely fills me up more than a lot of other breakfasts I normally eat because I'm not a huge savory breakfast person uh but I've really been vibing with that the just egg is just it's a familiar thing that I feel like I can eat so I did just cut that in half but I think if I I knew that I wasn't gonna be out too long and I knew I had this in my purse so I didn't worry too much about it plus I also have a problem eating a ton of food in the morning um but when I do add like a beyond sausage patty to that I'm full for like a long time which is great even with the gluten-free bread <laughs> I did find some gluten-free vegan bagels so that actually had protein in them so I'm just again trying to find more protein sources and it's really hard so many vegan gluten-free protein bars have chocolate in them so many and I even had bought some and then was like Shannon 
you're supposed to minimize chocolate, dropping things as I can and replacing things as I can. Long story long, um, I really, really, really like this one. I've always loved the Go Macro. I used to just get the double chocolate peanut butter, um, but this one doesn't have any chocolate in it. It's maple sea salt. It's organic, vegan, gluten-free. Woo! It's got 12 grams of protein. It's just like, I don't know. It's really good. I got a caramel cashew one that I haven't tried yet, but I got a few of these, and I need to just order a box because I feel like this is another comfort thing that I've always eaten and I know tastes good and I know that I will feel satisfied for like especially while I'm out it's now it's even harder <laughs> if I need a snack to like try and find because I used to be able to like go grab a bagel I can't go grab a bagel I'm gonna eat another bite of this ah it's good to me okay I'm gonna have a little snack of this and we're gonna watch that and I love you guys and I just feel a little bit lighter but I love you all so much also. Yeah, I just feel, I feel good. Um, I'm excited for the future. I'm excited to feel better. I'm excited to live my life, you know, which is a really good thing as someone who's been really, really chronically depressed for a long time. And I felt very, very hopeless. And I'm trying to see the bright things in life. And it's a beautiful day today, you guys. I'm going to let that sun shine on my face. Wrinkles be damned. Um, yeah, let's go to Rich and Rock. I said I sold this bar. <laughs> uh, and I love you. I love you so much. And yeah, we'll just chat about more stuff later. But I love you. And let's go to Nordstrom Rack. Loves, let's go to Nordstrom Rack. I always look at the purses first. And I feel like, I don't know, I've been carrying the same Marc Jacobs bag for like, I don't even know how many years it's been now. Since like 2018 or so. I'm not sure. Um maybe before. <laughs> uh, and it's a Marc Jacobs bag that my mama gave me. And I don't know. So I always check out the Marc Jacobs bags and can never bring myself to get myself one. And I just like to see what's going on. I just love such a basic bag for, because I want something that's just like black and gold and goes with everything. Uh, but I'm still, I'm still hunting for the perfect one, but I always just kind of see what's going on. And I know, I don't know, the, the, the fashion student in me I think remains sometimes and I always have to look at the designer bags because it's just a small piece of that that I hold on to from those days but they had so many good bags so many cute ones this one was really pretty it was sparkly it's from Steve Madden um <laughs> I just heard if you guys hear anything weird DJ's downstairs in his music room doing stuff while I'm up here editing and we're we're as you guys know we just moved in together so we're figuring it all out <laughs> And so yeah, look at these purses. I really just kind of, you know, looked around, looked around. So many good ones. I feel like there's oftentimes I go in and don't really find many, but if I, if I felt like it, I could have bought like five bags or more. Lots of cute options. And they had so much cute winter sale stuff. If you were into beanies and stuff like that, such good deals. There was a really cute, I don't, I think I got a a shot of it but like a little set I think it was Steve Madden uh but very cute stuff and then of course I was like oh more black and gold bags this was a really cute one from Michael Kors and yeah it was a really good price for a Michael Kors one so I saw these shoes first like one of the first things I saw and I was like oh, these are a 10 they're probably not gonna fit I normally will do a 10 wide and then like an 11 so I just kind of looked around and went to see if I could find a 10 and a half and I couldn't find a 10 and a half. I do end up finding an, an 11 and then I do end up trying on the 11 and the 10. Uh, but I just tried to see what all they had. So I just kind of took you with me as I went shopping. And of course, I always have to see what flats they have because I, I'm a millennial. <laughs> and I will always love a good pair of flats. So just kind of wandered through to see what they had. There was, again, a lot of fun things. A lot of good clearance. I thought these were really cute. I kind of want them. I should have tried them on as well. Uh, I'm just, I, I, I don't know why shoes, shoes and handbags. Why is it so hard for me to like purchase them when really I should be purchasing more of them? So I have definitely basically, unless dressed up and only wearing sneakers because it's helped my knee so much and my joints so much. So I just wanted to get another pair that I could wear that was a little more neutral. I really liked these new balances. So that was kind of the mission today is to just find some that were a little more neutral to go with stuff because my favorite pair that I wear all the time that are the most comfortable are pink. And sometimes you don't want to wear pink shoes with your outfit. It just doesn't go. So now I have a pink pair 
a black pair and a neutral pair but now I kind of want to get a fun colorful pair like the one I was just looking at but I definitely love getting them at Nordstrom Rack just because you can get such a good deal. So here are the shoes. I did end up trying them on to see, like I said, um, and I ended up going, well, you'll see what I, and now I'm spoiling it, man, I'm spoiling it. I'm not good at this. <laughs> I actually almost bought these online. I was super excited to see them in store and I was going to try them on if these didn't work out for me, but clearly spoiler alert, they did. And I tried on, so the 11 were just too long. Uh, so I guess that I will more likely try on more adidas in a 10 from now on so i did try to look at the plus size section in there of course wasn't too much i feel like sometimes i go into nordstrom rack and the plus size section is popping there's so much good stuff there's so many good dresses and sometimes i go in there and there's nothing and they had stuff and i probably could have hunted but yeah y'all know me how many times can i say that i'm don't love to hunt through things and when i saw a couple cute things on the rack that i was looking at um, i thought this was really interesting to see like a plus size very Tommy Hilfiger vibes dress, but rugby vibes and like polo vibes are definitely seemingly in. And then I saw this and I was like, wait, this is not even plus size. So anything I got excited about was not plus size. So I didn't feel the need to try anything on and I wasn't really planning on trying anything on this day, especially because I had already committed to buying a pair of sneakers at this point. So we didn't do that, but there was some cute stuff. It just, there wasn't a ton of cute stuff that was plus size, which is often a thing um then look at this like this is the clearance section for dresses <laughs> i'm like okay that yeah anyway so then i went over to the makeup and wanted to see what was going on i haven't looked at the makeup there in a long time they had a bunch of christmas clearance still so if you're someone who likes to shop like beauty clearance i would definitely check out your local Nordstrom rack if you have one i always like to look at their just like face masks and stuff like that and I didn't know they had Kaja there. Have you guys tried a lot of products from Kaja? If you've tried some, let me know which ones you were into. I thought these products were all so cute from, is it I, I Do Care? <laughs> um, they make really cute products and I just wanted to check them out. So they had a lot of Clinique. Um, all their Honest Beauty was on clearance. So I'm guessing they're getting rid of that brand. And they had some First Aid Beauty and some makeup bags and some more clearance sets. And then I went back and I was like, mm, do I want to get one of these? If you've tried these, let me know if they're good or not. I am a sucker for any type of liquid jelly cream blush right now. And if you have a favorite, ooh, if you've tried the milk ones, let a girl know because those look really fun. <laughs> and not that I need to buy them, but I want to know if you think they're good before I invest that much money in them. Or if you're really curious too, I can try them. Oh, that's the little set I was talking about. The Steve Madden beanie. And I almost got it because the pink beanie feels like it's going to be really loose fitting. And I have such a big head that I always need, I will only wear a beanie if it's like super loose and comfy and soft. Um, so I just kind of wandered through. It was pretty busy. And I found a cute little detangler brush over here. And it didn't have a price on it. So I looked it up and the price was not the same. <laughs> and I ramble about that in a minute. But anyway, here I am checking out, getting to the end. They had lots of fun stuff. Y'all, <laughs> first of all, first of all, how cute are these? How perfect are these? I go in looking for a neutral shoe. And TBH, I have tried to find online. Given, I was searching for a 10 and a half. Had I searched for a 10, I probably would have found it. But very, like, I know I'm going to get a 10 and a half or 11. I'm always scared things aren't going to fit my feet. But luckily, the 10, the 10, well, they had a 10 and an 11. I wish they had a 10 and a half. But that little no good turd, maybe I shouldn't have chatted for 50 minutes. And my battery wouldn't have died. So my battery just died. So we're just going to vlog a little on my phone. It's not going to look as good. This camera is very nice to me. I think these are so cute and I'm ecstatic. I ended up getting the tens um, because my less wide foot, if it's perfectly on my wide foot, it's just a little tight wide with waist. Not <laughs> lengthways. So I think that's the right there. That's the right. That's the right. That's the right thing to do. Um, so 55 97 And then I looked this up online because there was no price on it. And I saw Ulta had it for like eight bucks. So I was like, oh, it's probably eight bucks. No, it was 11 But I, she was going on and on about her healthy shoes. I think that sometimes people just see me. And I don't mind. But they're just like trauma dump. 
I'm like, do I, do I appear, do I look like I have health issues? And people are just like, she's going to know what I'm talking about. We were almost the same age. She has endometriosis. So we revive it. And I looked at the price and I was like, you know what? $3. It's fine. It's hot pink. Um, I could return it, but will I? No, I will not. But I wanted a tiny comb brush situation for my purse. But anyway, I hate filming on this because I have to hold it. And I should have been prepared with two batteries if I was going to tell you my life story. And I even just like had another thought while I was walking out of Nordstrom Rack. I lost it. Oh, I feel like it's coming back. It's coming back. <laughs> oh, <laughs> last thing. Last thing to do with like all of the comments that I had gotten on that video. And people were like, all you do is complain. You complain about money. You complain about this. You complain about that. I'm a human and I'm talking about my problems with you. We've always shared that. I've always tried to be open. I will remain open as much as I can also while protecting me. But at the same time, I feel like the more open I am, the more you guys help me. I help you. We just, we're a little family. That's what we do. And if people don't like it, it's fine. But as long as I speak on it, I feel better afterwards. So I'm like, as long as I like set the tone, I feel better. So anyway, I'm going to run to Walmart. I'll bring it with me. And we'll probably have to wrap up at home since my battery's dead. So <laughs> that was fun. I wanted to buy purses, but I didn't. My shoes are cute. I'm really excited. I've been, this is something I've been slacking on. Now, oh, quick question. I don't even know. I can't see. Oh, I think I'm in there. Okay. Where do you order your classes from online? I got my last ones at a brand deal, but I just got my eyes checked and it changed slightly. So I need to order new ones. And I really like the ones I got. So I might just order them again. But if you guys have affordable places, I know Zillow and stuff like that. Give me your input of where you get your glasses. I definitely need to order some new ones and I'm slacking. Let it go now. Okay, I'll see you at Walmart. All right, we are going to Walmart. Here's my shadow. I was looking at the protein bars to try and find any more that were like vegan gluten free, but I had trouble finding any that were even vegan. And I found some, but then they were definitely not gluten free. Uh, so I don't think Walmart is the place to find those um but natural groceries definitely is but again so many that i find are covered in chocolate they have so many cool things though that are i mean if you're an omnivore and you're looking up your protein they have some fun stuff <laughs> um and then i did check out the easter section because you guys said that you like the easter section so i peeked out a little bit but we do look at it much more in the last walmart video that just went up because i did like a full walmart shop with me and this was just kind of a stop by on the way home. I had no idea I was going to be going to Walmart two days later and I filmed this before I filmed that so it is what it is. So here's me checking out the like vegan section that has some gluten-free stuff in it and being sad that everything has stuff in it and then I grab some just egg. <laughs> I do a little grocery haul after this but this is just one of you know my staples some easy protein for someone who's really struggling to find protein sources as so many are off limits right now uh, for the like you know elim elimination type of diet that I'm doing and obviously suddenly being gluten-free uh, so I grabbed one of those burritos which is just a very easy thing and I show you everything a little closer that I got after this I guess this is kind of redundant my apologies <laughs> Um, but, and then I checked those and those have wheat in them, but they grossed me out anyway. So it's fine. Um, I really, oh, I just, I wish that I was like all about that beyond meat life and these are bearable and I got the slashes links and I haven't tried them yet. Um, we, I thought about getting the impossible and then I ended up, ended up getting it from Trader Joe's without realizing that I thought Impossible and Beyond Meat were both just pea protein, but Beyond Meat is just pea protein and Impossible is soy. So, mess up on my part, but that's okay. Uh, it is what it is. And honestly, judging by, I think there's certain things that I am finding like as I like take them away and maybe try a little bit. And I don't think soy is going to be a huge problem. Fingers crossed. Uh, I think that wheat and corn are my issues as of right now the biggest ones and well I know that weed is an issue always and forever so then I went and checked out the gluten-free section again this Walmart uh it does not have a very big one but some Walmarts have a really big gluten-free section so if you're someone who has suddenly found yourself in this position as I have I <laughs> found more and more more people right, are that way so right, check out Walmart. I'm still on my phone because I didn't go to, I just got home and then you put my groceries away. But I wanted to show you because these two arrived. I forgot to get B6 and D3. Luna is destroying a chair behind me. 
And then here are the omegas, the magnesium. This one is for folic acid. And then some liquid vegan iron. It tastes like berry blood, but it's getting better the more I taste it. <laughs> Not like good, but could be worse. And obviously it's very important. I really need this. So, oh, Luna's trying to get my leg. Let me also show you what I got grocery wise, but I know a lot of you guys were curious. But again, please talk to your doctor. This is just what my doctor has put me on. Cheddar cheesy. And then here are my not very nutritious groceries. I normally, Walmart is like fun groceries, okay? Walmart is like not produce. I did get some apples, but besides that, I always get my produce at Trader Joe's. All right, so again, I know this is not health, but I don't like Walmart's produce. And this was just kind of, I needed to go get my prescriptions. Why not grab a few things that I know are going to be like needed at some point? Um, I have always been a toaster waffle girl, so trying these, uh, they're so good. <laughs> they're so good. Um, they do have soy, so I'm not going to eat them super often, but they're so much cheaper at Walmart. And I go to Walmart like once a month when I need my prescriptions, maybe more, but usually tops, even that. So I just grab both to have. And my friend Dana said she likes these, uh, so I'm going to try these. I doubt there's, well, they're almonds, so there's going to be, there's some fiber, some protein. Hey, heck yeah. There are definitely gluten-free things that have protein in them. It's <laughs> not super duper common, but it definitely, definitely exists. Someone had told me that they have really good, like, it's like Sam's Club branded gluten-free vegan bread at Walmart, but I did not see it at mine. It might just be my location but these have been a savior it's mung bean protein if you've never had these uh, but i just like them um and then these i have tried these i hate cooking them because they are so stinky and keep in mind i'm someone who has never even when like i ate meat i only ate chicken really so it just grosses me out but at the same time once it's cooked it's fine okay that's a good source of protein e protein so I'm really just trying to focus on like protein um, and obviously not eating any of the things that I was eating. But my main sources of protein were vegan chicken before. So I can't have that. Can't have that. So we're going to have some more of these. I got more just because I knew I liked them. And in case I don't like any of the other new things that I got. I got some pickles because I want to make some chickpea salad because chickpeas are safe. Thank goodness. Um, and then this burrito. I used to love the non-gluten-free, non-dairy Buttery though, and this one's pretty pretty busting. Not gonna lie, <laughs> I'm happy with it. I like to. I don't know. I'm just trying to keep some things on hand that are very familiar while I work on other things. Like eight grams of protein isn't too bad. Isn't too bad. And then I did find these yesterday. Heck, inexpensive. But again, trying to minimize corn. These are bean chips, which also add more protein and fiber. So I'm just trying to pay more attention to my nutrients in my food than I was, given I was paying zero. So judge me if you want, but this is where I'm at. <laughs> also, here are my, my Valentine's Day flowers. They're, they're looking a little sad, but, but they were very pretty. And this is a little man. Can I hear them? Just burning away. Burning away. Say hi. So this <laughs> me trying to make excuses for being messy. This is the bread that I have been eating, if anyone cares. Um, obviously, it's just basic gluten-free white bread. So it's not like super nutrient dense, but it is just like a placeholder until I find something that might be, you know, and either way, even if I don't, you're allowed to eat bread. <laughs> you're allowed to eat things like that. Don't let the internet tell you that you can't. It's your life. If bread makes you happy, even if it has to be this hard gluten-free bread, eat your bread, girl. I did want to show you guys these because I was really excited. These also have protein, but I've had a really hard time finding vegan gluten-free bagels. I haven't tried them yet, um, but they're just like a little 100-calorie ones. Uh, not that that's, that's not what I'm exactly focusing on. I'm just trying to figure my life out. You know what I'm saying? So I thought I would show you these because I'm very excited to try them. I will keep you updated. I doubt I'll eat one today, but maybe soon. And then so far, this is the only gluten, oh, there goes the bread, plant-based chicken that I found. We will probably try this today because I'm really excited. Um, I hope that it's good. Maybe I'll make a salad or something. I haven't decided yet. 
but I thought I would show you in case anyone else in the world out there is struggling <laughs> as a gluten-free vegan because this life is a little bit rough and I mean I get why people give up but I'm not giving up yet so here we go. Loves, I know that I said beans, 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 but that chicken that I was gonna make said it had to be defrosted and your girl was hungry and so I was like it's fine. Beans, it is again, and I just seasoned everything really, really simply with garlic powder and salt. I threw some spinach in with my broccoli, which you will see. I had half of a teeny tiny avocado. Avocado has been a godsend because so many sauces that I normally would put on like veggies, like teriyaki and stuff that I have on hand already, and ha they all have gluten in them. So I have, have yet to go get another one. If any of you guys have a favorite gluten-free, teriyaki or any kind of sauce honestly please share them i would love that obviously dairy free egg free if possible well i will only well you can share whatever you want but anyway here's the end me just finishing my food in bed and that was it and i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you soon sleepy but awake but sleepy but awake but i'm sleepy but i'm awake but i'm sleepy but i'm awake does that make any sense i don't know i don't know God, i've been talking for almost 40 minutes Girl!